Here right. we have our lovely friend, the maple tree, and we are about to tap it. And we want to tap it on the south facing side, anywhere from the southeast, which is this side, to the southwest, which is over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to put two taps in and we'll show you how to do that. Make sure we can reach. Sure, there's no dead branches right above. Uh, we're good. Uh, start your hole, you go in a little bit, and then you want about a 10 degree angle or so, so that when this is in, it'll be facing down and the sap can come out. So we do that. We take the stick. Oh, look at it already. How much gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this is a good one. Now we just clean out any shavings that might be left in the hole. This one pretty much flushed itself right out. Let me just come in on it quick. Yeah, for sure. You can see it's just dripping right down <laughs> crazy already. So then We'll just stick that in there as a temporary. And then we'll get our... Your helper will hold the other keys yes. for you. <laughs> and step out of your way so you can drill the next hole. Half time, change sides. Yep. And I think if we go about there-ish. Looks like it'll reach right. You want to make sure your taps are at least a foot apart. And if you have old holes from previous years, which this is our first year tap in this tree, so we don't. Uh, if you have old holes, you want to come at least six inches to either side because uh, in the, the following couple of years, you won't get very good sap flow if you tap over top of or underneath an old tap hole. I'm thinking about there. Go in a little bit, get our angle. Oof, gushing. Nice. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, this is gonna be a full bucket every day. Every day that's full, anyways. Yeah. So we do that. Get our tapper. A little tap, 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 tap. tap, tap. <laughs> further than that because if you look at this guy you can tell these spouts have a taper to them and they flange out here and if you go in too far you'll actually put a crack on the top and the bottom of the uh, the hole it'll put a little split and you'll get seepage we call over seepage we so also has a really hard time getting these taps out if you go too deep. yeah this is our last year with this style taps uh, next year we're going elderberries and sumac yep and uh, Pine bark buckets. No more plastics. Bye bye plastics. See you later, plastics. Final year for you. And of course, renewable resources. Yes. So that's pretty much it. Just tap. That's all there is to it. Goes down to a little V, goes into a five gallon bucket. We come along once a day, we uh, <laughs> pop the top off, trade the bucket out, put a new fresh bucket in, and away we go. And our friend, uh, the yes, lightning bug. The lightning bug. So we're always crawling around the trees when we're tapping sap. They're, they like the maple trees. We haven't figured out why yet. If it's because of the, you know, they find cracks where the sap is leaking out, or if they like the folds and the bark to hide under for the winter, or to make babies, or whatever. But we but always they sure them. like them, and, and we like them. That's right. And we enjoy them in the summer, so it's nice to see them in the spring out and yeah. doing their thing. Gives us a little taste of what's to come in June. Yep, they're the first, one of the first few insects we see in the springtime. And they also eat a tremendous amount of slugs. They sure do. Slug uh, larvae, I should say. Anyway, that's a great way to end it. Just to go deck the down. It's about 4.30 on the 
22nd of March, 2014. We tapped seven buckets last night, which is 14 taps. It's like 55 and sunny out. It's been beautiful all day, with the exception of uh, crazy winds. And uh, we're gonna go check the sap. Here we go. Sloppy on top now. Sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy. Woo. It's almost better than ice and snow. drive. We'll go from tap one on out to tap seven. Hmm. Look at that flow. It's just raging out of there. Beautiful. I imagine these buckets are going to be full day in a day. Yeah. We're half a bucket already. We tapped it out 7 o'clock last night, maybe 8. And uh, it's ripping right along. So let's see. Five gallons. Down in there, that whole section grows up with skunkweed. Just gorgeous. Nice northern hardwood, mostly maple down here. Man, if we could actually farm this property, we'd tap all these trees. Everything gravity feed would right come out right to here. We put a, a uh, sap house right here. And there's more trees up that way, uphill. And we could gravity feed everything, like easy. Anyway, next bucket. Oh yeah. In there. Yep. Another one close to half full. By tonight she'll be full. By tomorrow morning. Be solid. Two, three. Tap three. Yeah, she's flowing. Uh, not as much though. This is the one that didn't really gush when we tapped it. It's obvious. It's only about a quarter of a bucket. Might have to switch off to pick up a better tree. You wouldn't think it'd be a bad one though. It's 36 inch diameter easy. Huge double canopy on it. 
Well, not huge, huge, but decent. Way of the dodo. <laughs> anyway, uh, that big one over there we tapped last year. That guy. Uh, same effect last year on that one as this one here. It's not as good. You can see the deer of uh, thunder thing. Fertilizing, natural fertilizer. Very nice. <laughs> and, uh, let's see. Tap four. This tree was a rager last year and started gushing immediately last night when we tapped it. I didn't think that was going to stick too well. Look at that. Look at that. Just raging. Easily half full, I'm cruising along. I need a little rubber adjustment too. Like, <clears throat> pardon my camera work. There we go. Leveled up. Yeah, you can see it like just started peeing like crazy the minute we tapped it. Oh, these are the taps up close, by the way. These are plastic taps now. Uh, in the future, we're going to retrograde back to uh, metallic taps. Uh, knowing what we now know about plastics and BPAs and estrogen hormones leaching and all that garbage. Uh, tap 5. This also was a gusher last year. I expect the same this year. Uh, same thing last night when we tapped it. Immediate rage of sap. Raging. Raging sap. And uh, looks like there's a decent flow stream there, too. Yeah, see? Look at that. That's three quarters of a bucket right there already. Cruising. Just cruising. We got a perfect day for it today, too. Warmed up nice. 55 or so. Might even be close to 60 now. And uh, the sun helps tremendously, warms the trees up, and uh, really brings on the sap flow. All right. Tap six. I guess we only tapped six last night. I thought we tapped seven. Anyway. Err. Prickers over on this side are dead. I'd like to get in here with brush hog. Let these things know who's boss. Yeah, tap six. I don't remember this being a heavy flow tree last year. <laughs> we debated about this a little bit last night. But uh, I guess this will be the test. Yeah. Jeez, it's about empty. There's not enough weight in the bucket to open it without setting the camera down. So you see the That's always an indicator. So we got two trees we're going to want to re-tap. This one especially. I mean, we're only talking three quarters of an inch in the bottom of that bucket. Maybe an inch. Maybe an inch. That's a very sad performance. We'll have to get back out here and uh, upgrade to new tap points. I think that one with the big branch there we did last year. That guy. I think that was a heavy flow tree. And there's this seasonal stream that runs down this valley here that's pretty cool. I wish it trickled all summer long too. It'd be nice to come down here when it's all greened up and just listen to it trickle. Something about water flowing, huh? Anyway, that's the tap tour so far. And uh, that's that. <laughs> My bad, we did tap seven. I forgot about this one, which is next to the other one I told you about that didn't flow very well, the big one. 
and you can see the canopy is dying out of that, that's why. And the reason we tapped it, because of the huge canopy it has, we thought it would flow like crazy. But it turns out it's, uh, it's on its way out. Unfortunately, um, maybe we should get in here and inoculate it with some uh, yummy mushroom shiitake or something. Anyway, uh, this one also was a gusher last year. taps and uh, it looks like we're producing around 20 gallons a day 15 or 20 uh, which is about a half a gallon of sap boiled down so there you go